We've had a lot of comments lately where you guys have been asking for more horse videos and horse show videos, so we're so excited that we're gonna do that for you today. We're gonna take you through the whole day to see how Addie gets ready for her show, how she competes, and we'll see at the end of the day how she does. joining us today, Addie and I are at Bramlin Farm in Franklin, Tennessee for a horse show. Today is day five and the last day of my last show with Ben. Our last show with Benny Boo. Mm -hmm. Ben, we're gonna miss you. Ben is the horse we've been leasing for the last probably six or seven months and Addie is just kind of outgrowing Ben because Ben is actually a pony. Addie's taken a really big growth spurt this year so we think we're gonna transition to a bigger horse in a couple months, so we're here today just taking in and soaking up this last show with Ben, who has just been such a sweetheart for Addie. For a show, I have to get Benny super clean, and it's hard because he has a white butt, and um, he likes to roll a lot, so it's always fun to spend forever trying to clean him up. Trying to get this white hair actually white actually white it's looking pretty good though she's yeah. been working hard this side's still kind of yellow right here and why is the shampoo purple um this is what we call purple shampoo and it's purple and um it helps whiten his legs and any white spots on him and he gets pretty dirty so i like to use either purple or blue shampoo i find that purple shampoo works better so I tried to use that on his white spots to just make him look a little more presentable. And Ben is always a good sport when he's getting bathed. Aren't you Ben? You are a good sport. We've had a lot of comments lately where you guys have been asking for more horse videos and horse show videos. So. We're so excited that we're gonna do that for you today. We're gonna to take you through the whole day to see how Addie gets ready for her show, how she competes, and we'll see at the end of the day how she does. So where are we headed now? We're headed to our ring to see if everything's going on time so far. Because what's your first event? Um, our flat class. Flat class is called under, under saddle. saddle. Mm -hmm. So we're letting Ben dry off and going to see if we're on time. So it looks like we're on time. We have two hours. Tell yep. us what under saddle is. Your first event. So the under saddle is basically a flat class and if you don't know what that is, it's um, where we walk, which is what we're doing now, trot and canter while we're on our horses. And they just judge our horse's actions and if we're on the right diagonal, if we're on the right lead for a canter. They just judge. They don't judge on our bodies and how our posture is. It's mainly the horse's actions. My least favorite part about horse shows? Poor to potties. That's all you have to work with. We got Benny Boo some treats. We did. What did you pick out for him? I got some mini horse donuts for him. Those look delicious. Benny, <laughs> Benny, look what I got for you. I think okay. he prefers the grass. <laughs> he will eat, like, you can't stop him from eating unless you, like, actually pull him away from it. <laughs> or else he'll just go right back down. <laughs> ben, come on. We have real treats for you. The actual treats. <laughs> Ben. He has braids just to look extra nice because we're at a pretty nice show. So we just put some braids in his hair just so he can look a little nicer. Did you braid it? No. <laughs> I don't have that talent. Look at these pretty braids. 
So apparently horse braiding is like its own big business. They have horse braiders who come out here and often start as early as one o'clock in the morning and kind of make their trips around all the different barns and horses and get all the horses braided for the big show days. 1 a.m. That is crazy. This is a pretty large class that she's competing in right now. I think about 14 girls, and they're judging right now how the horse canters, how they walk, how they trot. They're gonna tell them when to switch directions. Um, so far, Addie looks pretty good, but she has some really tough, tough competition at this show. Addie ended up with a seventh place ribbon, which we are excited and proud of her for because she's had a really tough few days. She hasn't been placing as high as she has in the past, and um, but sometimes it's those days where you yeah, struggle that you learn the most so I'm so proud of her she's had such a good attitude and I just I just admire her ability to come out here and do her best and not let some of the scores that are lower than usual get her down what are we doing next we are doing our over fences and what is that it's where basically we just canter over a bunch of fences and um, Try not to trip jumps, try not to go long distances, do it really well, hopefully, and yeah. And have fun, right? Yes. The most important thing, right? Yes. For me, the most nerve-wracking part of these over fences classes are the fact that the girls have to memorize multiple courses. They have to know the exact route you go on with the jumps, which jump you hit next, what diagonal you're taking, and you only have a few minutes before you go out there to really study the diagram and learn them. Um, there's been a couple times over the past few days where Addie's messed up the course. She's um, went to the wrong jump or she went the wrong diagonal and when that happens you get disqualified automatically. So I'm hoping the girls have studied those diagrams well and they're ready to go out there and knock out these courses. Vince got his mint and he's ready to go. Last round's on Mr. Benny Boo. Yep. How do you feel about that? I'm excited to do it, but yeah, I'm gonna miss Ben afterwards. Yeah. I'm still gonna go visit him and take care of him. Yeah, Ben treats. will still be at the barn, so we're not gonna have to say goodbye to Ben. We're just gonna move on to a different horse. Mm -hmm. All right, yep. girlie, go out there and have some fun. You gotta back up, bud. <laughs> you can't go forward. You know how to back up. Back up, Ben. Back up. Beep, beep, Okay, beep, there we go. Beep. <laughs> Go Addie! First run through looked pretty good. She stayed on course, which is awesome. Um, one of her jumps looked a little bit off. I don't know the terminology to tell you how it's off, but Maybe she was a little short or a little long. Something went off, but I think she got the rest pretty good. All right, here goes Addie's second run and her last one on Mr. Ben. and third in the second. Ooh, Good job, thank girl. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. So proud of you. Thank you. Currently, I'm just taking out his braids and his mane because he can't stay with these in or else it'll just get really tangly in his hair and it wouldn't be too amazing. So how do you get them out? What is, you so I use tools? a seam ripper, and then I just take the <laughs> threads underneath, and I just we you basically just rip all the threads. So there's threads in there. Yeah, and that's what keep that's what keeps the braids together. So humans you hair, use hair ties, horses use thread and string.
Finn's show name is actually Sweet Apple Splash, which I think is pretty adorable. But I think if we end up buying a horse for our next round, mm -hmm. I think you get to name it. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what you would name a horse? I don't. It's gotta require a lot of thought, huh? Yeah. I like the name Dusty for a male. But you gotta have a fancy show name. So Dusty yeah. could be like its barn name. We could have yeah. a fancy show name. We'll have to get creative there. Thank you. Bye. Good job, Harper. Bye, guys.